Hello, buffaloes. Welcome to your homework. This is interactions between plant systems. The standard for today's homework is describe the interactions that occur among systems that perform the functions of transport, reproduction, and response in plants. I apologize for my typo there. Mm, terrible. So, what we're going to look at today is we're going to look at these three systems, um, the transport, reproductive, and response systems in plants, um, and we are going to focus most, most importantly on how we describe the interactions that occur among these systems. So, it's not enough just to know what the systems are, we need to focus on how these systems interact with one another. So be sure to write down everything you see today. There's a lot of writing, um, but it's going to be very helpful for you um, on your writing assignment tomorrow in class. Okay, so let's get started. The first system we're going to look at is the transport system. So the function of this system, okay, is to transport nutrients and other necessary materials to various parts of the plant. So this is the transporting um, vehicles, if you will, for the plant. It moves things, um, and so it includes the roots, stems, leaves, phloem, and xylem. So some things we learned about this week in class. Okay, um, take a second to think about what are the nutrients and necessary materials that we're talking about here. Okay, you're going to want to write these down that I say them. We're talking about water. We're talking about carbon dioxide. Um, we're talking about glucose. We're even talking about oxygen. And remember, for plants, oxygen is a waste product. So, um, transport system is moving things from one place in the plant to another. The next system is the reproductive system, okay? Um, the reproductive system, its function, it is responsible for producing viable offspring through pollination and fertilization. So this is um, how the plant is going to make um, more of itself, just like the reproductive system in animals. Um, and so what does it include? Well, it includes the flower, okay? And that includes three specific parts, the anther, ovary, and ovule. Um, which we know becomes the seed, um, and the ovary becomes the fruit. And so we can't forget pollen, which is what um, actually does the fertilization of the ovule. And so um, that is the reproductive system in a plant. And the last one that we're going to talk about is um, the response system. So uh, remember that the response system, we started with that, um, it is responsible for allowing the plant to respond to its uh, environment or external st stimuli. So um, a stimuli could be um, water or a flood. It could be um, cold weather. It could be um, sunlight. It could be a touch. It could be a variety of different things. And so it includes the tropisms that we've talked about and the hormones that we discussed um, that allow for these things all to happen. So remember that um, this whole system reminds us that plants are living organisms, that they respond to stimuli just like we do, and they have hormones that stimulate growth and stimulate changes in the organism at different times. Um, and so these are the overview of the three systems. And so now it's important to stop and say, okay, how do these work together? So let's take a look at that. Okay, so here's what you're going to see on this slide. You're going to see one system over here on the left, Okay, you're going to see an arrow and another system. And in the middle right here, you're going to see how the system on the left affects or works with the system on the right. Okay, so every time you see this, we're talking about what this system does to affect the system. So for example, the transport system, it is affecting the response system and interacts with the response system. And how does it do that? Okay, structures in the transport system um, grow during due to hormones that are found in the response system. So for example, we have um, our stems, they're going to grow um, due to auxins and things like that. And so the different hormones that you learned about um, with the response system are going to affect growth um, in the transport system. So the next set we're going to talk about is the response system to the reproductive system. So how do these two interact? Well, one way they interact, okay, is the response system is responsible for hormones, okay, and the reproductive system is responsible for fruit. And so these hormones, there are certain hormones that stimulate fruit production, okay? So you're going to need to look back at your notes, the ones about tropisms and hormones in plants, and you're going to have to figure out which hormones stimulate fruit ripening, um, 
in the reproductive system because there are hormones that do that, um, but it's your job to go find that. All right, so the next one, um, the response system. How does the response system work with the transport system? So the response system, again, hormones, um, response to stimuli, transport system, moving things around. Okay, so the response system, um, the plant is able to respond to stimuli or even move toward materials it needs for survival. So it does different tropisms um, depending on what uh, material or need it has. Um, and so if it's water or light, remember things like hydrotropism and um, phototropism for different um processes that have to happen in the plant like photosynthesis and so within the transport system we're going to use those things that we take up because of different tropisms um in order to do um things like photosynthesis remember when i say we i definitely mean plants so the next one and the last one that we're going to talk about um is the transport system and the reproductive system so how do these two things work together okay well the transport system is going to move or transport nutrients produced in photosynthesis to the flower. So the whole point of the flower is to produce a um, well-maintained uh, reproductive organ, right, that has all the nutrients it needs. Well, it gets its nutrients because of this transport system. It has to move um, the food that it makes, if you will, glucose, to the cells in the flower to produce a good, healthy reproductive organ. So that's all I have for you today. Um, your debrief is how do plants systems interact, right? So how do these systems work together? Um, you should know a few of these examples with more detail without using your notes tomorrow. So in order to answer your quiz, uh, your writing quiz, um, well, you're going to need to know these examples and you're going to have to give more detail than I just gave in my uh, little um, presentation. So make sure that you um, study your notes, study these ways that they work together, um, and you should be able to recall or remember these without using your notes tomorrow. Okay? Good luck and talk to your teacher if you need some help. Bye!